The Renault Arcana is finally going on sale in Europe very soon. The mainstream coupe crossover has been around on the Russian market since May last year, and will be available on selected markets on the old continent starting from the first quarter of this year. There are a number of very significant differences between the Russia spec model and the new Euro spec Arcana. First, the latter gets a more refined appearance mainly thanks to a new RS line package, as well as a wider range of personalization options courtesy of the new color package. In addition, the interior is also much more classy and gets a vertical tablet-style screen for the infotainment system, as well as a fully digital instrument cluster in various versions depending on the trim. Despite its coupe SUV shape, the Arcana offers a generous boot space of 513 liters for the non-hybrid variants. But that's not all. While the Arcana for Russia is powered by a 1.3-liter turbo gas engine, the Eurospec model benefits from Renault's latest hybridized powertrains. These include 140 horsepower and 160 horsepower mild hybrid versions of the 1.3 TCE engine, paired to a dual-clutch automatic gearbox, plus the E-Tech Hybrid 140 that's already available in the Clio, Captur, and Megane. The French automaker says the latter is a new system that has been the subject of more than 150 patents and is based on the group's experience in electric vehicles and F1. Arcana is another example of how modernity and innovation are rooted in Renault's DNA, Francois Laurent, Arcana program director, comments. It is a hybrid on all levels and perfectly blends the codes of the coupe and the SUV, combining responsiveness with versatility. It brings a fresh impetus to the mainstream compact SUV segment which is core to the European market. Sitting in between the existing Codger and Colios in the French brand's lineup, it aims to offer the sleek lines of a coupe but the practicality of a large SUV. And with such cars usually being the preserve of more premium brands, Renault's offering could be tempting for style-conscious buyers on a budget. With dimensions that firmly place it as a large SUV, the Arcana features LED headlights and a light bar at the rear that runs the entire width of the car, plus plastic body cladding around its lower edges to give it a bulky, go-anywhere look. Buyers who opt for the sporty RS line version also get bespoke paintwork and bumpers. Inside, you'll find more boot space than in the more expensive Mercedes GLC Coupe at 513 liters, meaning a family's holiday luggage should hold no problems for the Arcana. The car also features rear seats that fold completely flat, liberating even more space when needed. As well as offering a choice of eco, comfort and sport driving modes, the Arcana is available with adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assistance, a blind spot monitoring system and automatic emergency braking. There's also a 360 degrees camera system to help with parking, or even a self-parking system that can do the job for you. This version also comes with bespoke driving modes designed to either save or use stored energy from the battery, depending on the situation. For example, you might choose to save your electrical energy for use on crowded city streets later on in your journey. For buyers wanting to go green, the Arcana is also available as a regular hybrid, with a 1.6-liter petrol engine being combined with two electric motors. The system produces 138 horsepower in total, but Renault says this setup has enough electric power to allow you to complete 80% of a typical city journey without using a drop of fuel. subscribe to auto tv